ever swallow a multivitamin and like, you know, feel like you just kind of checked off your whole nutrition list for the day. Yeah, it's a pretty common feeling. I mean, those little pills, they seem to promise a lot, don't they? They do. So that's what we're diving deep into today, the world of multivitamins. We're going to break down what's actually in them, look at what the research says, and figure out, you know, who might actually get some benefit from taking them. And I think this deep dive might just change how you see that daily multivitamin of yours. But first, let's start with, you know, the basics. Think of multivitamins like a, like a one-stop shop for your vitamins and minerals. Like a grab-and-go for all those nutrients we need. So what are we even talking about here? What's inside these things? Well, you've got your vitamin A, which is, you know, super important for healthy vision. Then there's vitamin C, which is uh, known for, like, boosting your immune system. And, of course, we can't forget about vitamin D. That's essential for strong bones. It's like a, like a tiny little health squad packed into a pill, <laughs> right? But, I mean, do they even work the way we think they do? That is the million-dollar question, isn't it? The truth is, nutrition science, it's really complex, and there are no easy answers. So it's not as simple as, like, just take this pill and all your problems are gone. I wish it were that easy. We got to look at the bigger picture here. For example, Dr. Sarah Lee, she's a registered dietitian, and she calls multivitamins a dietary safety net. Kind of reassuring, right? A safety net. Okay, I like that. So maybe not a magic bullet, but a good backup to have. Yeah, exactly. Dr. Lee, she points out that multivitamins can be helpful, especially for filling those, you know, minor nutritional gaps we might have in our diets. That makes sense. But what about, like, preventing major health problems? Can multivitamins help with that? That's where things get really interesting. There was a huge study in 2019 published in JAMA. That's the Journal of American Medical Association. And they looked into that exact question. And what did they find out about multivitamins? They found that while multivitamins, yeah, they might offer some health benefits, they don't really lower your risk of getting serious chronic diseases. You know, things like heart disease or cancer, at least for the average person. So it's all about managing expectations, right? Like. They're not an excuse to skip out on fruits and vegetables. Absolutely not. A good, balanced diet is still the most important thing for good health. You can't just rely on supplements alone. That's a really good point. But if that's the case, are multivitamins ever a good idea? Who should actually consider taking them? That's right. They're definitely not for everyone. But there are some groups of people who, uh, who might find them more useful than others, like take pregnant women, for example. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, their bodies are like literally building a human being. Exactly. Their nutritional needs, they go way up during pregnancy, especially when it comes to things like um, folic acid. Folic acid, that's the one that helps prevent birth defects, isn't it? That's the one. And then there's iron, too. Super important with, you know, all that extra blood volume. So multivitamins can be a good way to support a healthy pregnancy. What about older adults? I think I've heard they can benefit from multivitamins, too. You're right. As we get older, you know, our bodies just aren't as good at absorbing certain nutrients from our food. So those nutritional gaps we talked about, they can become more of a problem as we age. Exactly. And that's why getting a little extra vitamin D, B12, calcium, those can be really helpful, especially for older adults, to maintain bone health and, you know, just their overall well-being. It's like providing that extra support when your body might need it most. Now, what about people who are vegetarian or vegan? Another group that might want to consider a multivitamin. Don't get me wrong, vegetarian and vegan diets can be super healthy, but they can sometimes lack certain nutrients that are, you know, more common in animal products like vitamin B12, iron, omega-3 fatty acids. So it's all about like finding that balance, right? Making sure you're getting everything your body needs no matter what you choose to eat. Exactly. And, you know, there's one more group we should mention. People who have certain medical conditions. For example, someone with a digestive disorder might have trouble uh, absorbing nutrients the way they should. In those cases, could a multivitamin be helpful, like bridge the gap? Absolutely. If a medical condition is interfering with how your body absorbs nutrients, a multivitamin can be really beneficial. In fact, the American Dietetic Association, they specifically say that people with certain deficiencies or those on really restrictive diets, they might actually need a multivitamin supplement. That makes a lot of sense. But before everybody runs out and buys a year's supply of multivitamins, what's the most important thing to remember? That's easy. Talk to your doctor. Always talk to your doctor before starting any new supplement. And yeah, that includes multivitamins. So we're not saying to, like, replace medical advice with a multivitamin. Not at all. Your doctor, they can look at your individual needs, see if there are any potential interactions with any medications you're taking, you know. It's always best to get personalized guidance just to be safe.
Great advice. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of trying something new, but having that personalized guidance is so important. Okay, so say someone is thinking about adding a multivitamin to their routine. How do they even choose the right one? Because they're not all the same, are they? That is such a good question. And you're right, they're not all created equal. The world of supplements, it can be kind of overwhelming, right? I mean, there's so many choices out there. It's true. So where do you even start? I always say start by really looking at the label. Look for those seals of approval from organizations you trust, like USP, NSF. Those are good ones. What do those seals actually tell us, though? Basically, it means that a third party, someone independent, has verified that the ingredients are, you know, what they say they are. It's like a quality check. So seeing those seals just gives you that extra peace of mind, like, okay, I'm actually getting what I'm paying for. What else should we be looking for on the label, though? Don't just stop at the front of the bottle with all the marketing and stuff. Flip it over and really take a look at the specific vitamins and minerals listed and the um, the dosages. Pay attention to the balance of nutrients, too. What should we be looking for there? Are there, like, specific amounts we should try to aim for? You ideally want to choose a multivitamin that has dosages that are close to the RDAs. Those are the recommended daily allowances for each nutrient. RDAs, right. So that's like the recommended amount you should be getting of each vitamin and mineral every day. But why is it so important to like actually pay attention to those numbers? You got it. Sticking close to those RDAs, it helps make sure you're getting enough of everything, but also not too much because, you know, it might surprise you, but you can actually have too much of a good thing. Getting way more than the RDA for certain vitamins and minerals. That can actually be harmful. Wow, see, I never knew that. Like, too much of a vitamin could be a bad thing. Yeah. So where did you learn all this stuff about RDAs and dosages and all that? Consumerlab.com is a really good resource for that kind of thing. They actually test supplements, you know, independently. And they give really good advice about quality and what dosages are safe and all that. Okay, so we've got certifications, we've got RDAs. It's like you need a detective's kit just to buy a multivitamin. It's true, but, you know, it's worth taking the time to do it right. You want to make sure you're choosing a good product, one that's high quality and that actually fits your needs. That's what it's all about, right? You're telling me. And that's what I love about these deep dogs. Like we started out thinking about multivitamins and I don't know, we thought they might be some kind of magic cure. And now, now we've got a much better understanding of what they really are and what they can and can't do. Right. Multivitamins, they're not a magic solution, but they can be a really helpful tool for some people. I love how you put that earlier. Like multivitamins are like a dietary safety net. They're there if you need them. Right. But you shouldn't rely on them completely. That's it. Think of it like this. A multivitamin is like having a backup generator, you know? It's good to have around in case you need it. But it shouldn't be your main source of power. Your main source of power should always be a healthy, balanced diet. That is such a good analogy. I know I'm never going to look at my multivitamin the same way again. <laughs> so as we wrap up here, what are some of the key takeaways that you hope our listeners are thinking about today? Well, you've heard the facts, right? So now it's all about connecting the dots for yourself. Talk to your doctor, see what they say. Really think about your diet. Like, what are you actually eating every day? And then, you know, based on all of that, you can decide if a multivitamin is right for you, if it has a place in your health journey. Maybe this deep dive will get people talking to their doctors more. Or maybe it'll make them take a closer look at the foods they're choosing. Or, hey, maybe it'll just give them a new appreciation for those little pills and what they can and can't do. Exactly. Knowledge is power, right? Especially when it comes to our health. Couldn't agree more. Mm. Well, that just about does it for our deep dive on multivitamins. Until next time, keep learning. And remember, you have the power to make informed decisions about your health. See you next time.